Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a Dollar Tree pantry organization video because my pantries have gotten a little bit out of hand and I say pantries because we have one smaller pantry that we use and then we also have some cabinets that we use as part of our pantry. Um, but I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna to run to the Dollar Tree and possibly even Walmart and I have a few things off of Amazon that I may be using to help organize, but we are gonna be decluttering, organizing, cleaning this pantry out and I'm super excited because it's just been kind of a mess and I just want it to be organized and give me a little less stress every time I go in there. But if you do like organization videos, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know that. And then subscribe if you're new and say hey in the comments and let me know where you're from. I always love getting to know you guys. Also, the question of the day is going to be, is your pantry in tip-top shape or do you need to organize yours as well because it's been about a little over a year since I have organized my pantry so some of the things that I did before just are not working anymore and I'm ready to change it up so that's why I'm ready to do this video for you guys but anyways let's go ahead and jump right into this video all right so this is our regular pantry and it's not horrible but there are some things that are out of like like these are out of baskets I would like to have baskets for those all these bags of chips I would like to have baskets for those and then the bottom's not too bad but I feel like we don't really need all of these um, bags so I might get rid of some of them because we also have this little bag here it's our or it's our bag holder which I could fill up fill up even more to get rid of some of those from down there but yeah so this is kind of the situation in here. All right, and then in this one, we kind of use as a pantry as well. We kind of leave some of our dry goods and sauces, all of our pastas, things like that in here. Um, I did get this, which I'll show you guys a little bit later, but I got that. And I just kind of, I don't know, this is a mess. Like I have sweet potatoes which this is probably old and probably needs to be thrown away but rice peanut butter like extras of um, ranch and mayonnaise I also have a basket right here that had like snacky stuff in it as well and then more stuff way back there that you can't even see and then this is our pot and pan situation right now I do like this but I don't know the pots and pans we have to figure out something with that so that's all of that and then the last part that I want to organize today is this and this is where the majority of our spices were until I got that little thing that I just showed you but it was too tall to fit in here so what I'm thinking is we might rearrange all of this and maybe even move the shelf up one so that we can put our spices back up in here because we do like having them here for you know right by the stove or whatever so I just kind of want to organize this better so that you can see everything and um, it's just a lot easier to find things and then that's that up there that works pretty well the flour sugar salt all that stuff so anyways let's get organizing all right, so I'm starting with the first pantry, which is the normal pantry, and I'm just going to pull everything out and kind of categorize everything. And then I'm also pulling off the labels that I actually created myself a while back. And I ended up getting these other labels from a shop on Amazon, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a few minutes. I just felt like they were a lot more farmhouse chic, and they just were simple and pretty and elegant. So I ended up going with those, and I love the way it ended up turning out. But all of the white baskets that you see, even the ones that I'm touching right now, all of these white baskets actually came from the Dollar Tree. So I love them because they are perfect for organizing snacks and chips and all that good stuff. And plus they're only a dollar. Another thing that I did while I was pulling all this food out is I got rid of anything that was old and expired. And when I pulled this peanut brittle out, it was so gross. It was all stuck together. So I ended up throwing that away. So there were several things that ended up going in the trash. All right, so I got these little labels from the Talented Kitchen and they are actually on Amazon. I love that these come already pre-printed and all you have to do is literally pull off the label and put it on your container. 
So on these little containers, it works perfectly. I'm gonna put them on here. Um, the chips containers, I ended up putting like all of our chips and um, little bagel chips in these two containers. So I won't be able to use the labels on here. I didn't think about that whenever I bought these and they have little holes in them. Um, but these are the only two containers like this. So we know that the chips go in here. So I'm gonna put the labels on these other ones and I think it'll turn out really cute. So as you can see, I was just kind of eyeballing it here and obviously this is like super off centered so I had to fix it. But having these labels pre-printed for me just made this whole process so much easier. I was pretty stressed out, which you'll see in just a few minutes I kind of talk about it, but it was really hard deciding where to put everything just based on the spaces that we had to work with. I don't even know how to explain it, but it was pretty stressful, but this made it so much easier for me when it came to the labels and not having to worry about DIYing them myself. And then next, I ended up pulling all the stuff out of the bottom of the pantry and look at all that dog hair, it's so gross. So I vacuumed it out, I wiped it down, and obviously I need to clean the bottom of this pantry a lot more often. <laughs> and now I'm just kind of placing everything where I thought it was going to go into the pantry, but at the end I did end up moving a few of the baskets around, so you'll see that in just a little bit. Now we're gonna start doing the whole process with the other cabinets and I'm gonna pull everything out, kind of organize them, and then I also have a lot of like canisters and things like that that I'm gonna try to figure out where they everything should go. Here's kind of an update. We have a few pastas and rice, things like those. I'm, I think I'm gonna end up putting these in the miscellaneous bin in the other pantry. But then we also have some like extras of salsa, peanut butter, ranch, um, mayonnaise. This I think is gonna go with maybe the sweets up in the other pantry. And then I have like a couple of things of grits so I'm thinking I need to go get a few more containers and put the grits in them um, let's see we've got some nuts which I don't really feel like I need a whole container for nuts I can just keep them in this because we don't go through these like crazy um, I ended up putting like we have all of our popcorn in this basket and then also we have some hot chocolate still so I just threw that in here. I figured hot chocolate and popcorn could go together. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. And then I have these. This was the other thing. Oh, this was self-rising flour. Hmm. I need to probably put that in something, but I don't think that this container is big enough, so I may need one for that. And then I'm gonna end up taking all these spices out. I got some other little spice jars that I'm gonna take these out of and put them in the other ones that have little labels too from the same shop. And then I have this bucket that has all these sauces and things in it, but I don't like this because I feel like it's too high so that when we reach into our cabinet, like, I don't know, we have to literally go like this in order to get it out in our cabinet. So I kind of want something that's a little bit lower maybe, so I might look for something like that at Walmart. And then these are the ones that I have done so far. I really like these containers from the Dollar Tree, but I already had some of these, so I just kept them. I put some raisins, and then I ended up just putting pasta on some of these. Penne was in there, we always have penne, but it just depend varies on which pasta we're gonna have. This one, it just says noodles, so those are the egg noodles. Um, we have some jasmine rice, but we have some other rice, so I might get another container just for regular rice and then our spaghetti. So that's kind of the update for right now. 
So I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit overwhelming just because there's several different things that I don't really have a place for and now I'm like, okay, I need to go get a container for this and that. So hopefully it turns out okay, but I think I'm gonna run in just a little bit, I'm gonna run to Walmart and get those containers. I'm gonna try to make a list really quick. Um, but the only reason I'm going to Walmart is because I have to go there to pick up groceries today anyways and get a few teacher gifts. So I just figured while I go to Walmart, I'll look and see if they have any more of the clear containers that I can use for some of this other stuff. But I think really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and look through my spices and pick out the ones that we use the most and convert those into the clear spice jars so that those ones can be organized and cute and everything. I'm probably not gonna do all of our spices just because it might get a little bit overwhelming and I don't know I have the labels from that same shop and I'll link the jars and the labels and all of that stuff in the description box in case you guys want to check those out I thought that they were super cute and it made it easy so that way um, I didn't have to go do a DIY I could have easily made some on my silhouette but I figured since these were already pre-printed and everything I would just use those for today because like I said I'm overwhelmed already and uh, y'all let me know if y'all get like this too like I love to organize but honestly organizing in the pantry can be a bit much for me especially with all these containers and things so anyways I hope that it turns out good I'm gonna go ahead and go do the spices real quick all right so here are the little labels for the spice jars and then these are the little jars which are perfect and um, I also got this little thing, which I'm gonna put up on our fridge, but it's just a measurement cheat sheet sort of thing that you can just keep in your kitchen. And it's also from the Talented Kitchen. But anyways, I'm gonna put our most used spices in these just to make them look a little nicer. All right, so now I'm putting all my spices into the clear jars. And as you can see, I ended up getting a little bowl to do this so I didn't get it all over the counter, which I'm so smart, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding I'm glad I thought of it though because it would have been a mess cleaning all that stuff up so this was so nice I just put them all in the clear jars and they all had labels I put the labels on the front and then they also have little black labels that go on the top which is perfect because if for some reason I decide to change the way I've organized them later I can always organize them where you just see them like if I wanted to put them in a basket I could pull the basket out and look from the top and be able to find whatever spice that I want so I thought these were super super cute and I love the way that they turned out Look how pretty that is from the top. And then even from the front, if you're just looking, I love it. All right, so I think I'm gonna organi organize these somehow in alphabetical order, but I don't know yet, we'll see. Okay, so this is the little spice rack holder that I picked up. It's by Made Smart. Let's see if it'll focus. By Made Smart, so that you can just kind of stack and then you can pick up the handle and pull them out of the cabinet. So I think I'm gonna try to organize them on here. I'm gonna take this sticker off first, but I think I'm gonna try to organize it on that. All right, just got back from Walmart and these are some of the things that I ended up picking up. I got this little container. It's a lot like the other ones that I have, um, but it was $6 and some change. I figured I could put the grits in this one. And then I got this one, it's, a, it's like the other ones that I have the sugar and salt and things in. And I'm gonna put the self-rising flour in that one. And then I like these little baskets right here and they were actually only $2 and some change each. So I got four of them. I was thinking I could put some of the condiments and things like that in there. Um, so we will see how it all turns out. Here I'm just taking off the old labels that I had on my can canisters. These were actually DIY ones that I did with my silhouette and vinyl a long time ago. And I loved them, but I wanted them to all be cohesive. So I decided to take these off and put the new labels on. And honestly, these were such a pain to take off. So I'm excited about if I ever change them in the future, then the other ones will be a whole lot easier to take off than these were.
The next thing I did was pull the rest of the spices and canned goods and all that good stuff out of these cabinets and messed around with the baskets that I got and tried to put them in ways that would work for us. I tried the canned goods in these baskets, but I did end up putting them in a different basket, which we'll see in a minute. But this was just a lot of like playing around with it. I would even put the baskets in the cabinets and pull them in and out just to see kind of what it would feel like if we were doing this on a daily basis and just get a feel for it. And I just feel like this is kind of something that you're gonna have to do with your space and figure out what works for you and your family. So it's the end of the first day and I'm honestly not happy with the way the pantry has turned out so far. Um, there's some things that I still need to fix. So tomorrow morning I'm going to run to the Dollar Tree and see if I can find a few more things that I'm needing so I can get this video done and up so that you guys can get some motivation. So hopefully tomorrow it will be done. So I went to the Dollar Tree and they were pretty much out of everything, but it looks like they were restocking the shelves. So probably whatever I was needing is in one of these boxes somewhere. So I'll definitely have to go back another day. Okay guys, so don't judge me. <laughs> I just got back from running and I really needed to get this video finished. And But I also needed to run today before it got scorching hot outside. So you get to see this. I'm keeping it real with you guys. <laughs> But I just showed you guys Dollar Tree and the fact that they didn't have what I was looking for this morning when I went. So I went ahead and rolled with what I had and switched some things around and I really liked the way that it turned out. So I figured I would go ahead and push this video out for you guys in case you're needing some pantry organization ideas or some motivation to get yours done. And then I'll show you a few of the ideas that I have for fixing my little problem areas. So let me show you guys how it looks. So this is the first pantry and because I love knowing what's in other people's pantries I'm gonna kind of share a little bit of what's in ours and I'm gonna try to do it super quick so in this one we have popcorn but I also put our croutons in here just because I had nowhere else to go this and that this they, there wasn't a breakfast one so this is pretty much all their breakfast items like pop tarts and muffins things like that our candy is in here then coming down we have all of our sweets I put together so these are like brownies and things like for dessert cookies we've got our cereal and these kind of change out based on what we get each week then coming down here we have all of our crackers that's so Ritz crackers saltines and then I also put some mixed nuts in there just because I didn't know where else to put it next we have our snacks so we have goldfish Cheez-Its cracker more like I guess I could have put these in the cracker drawer but these are more snacky crackers that the kids can just grab granola bars all that good stuff this is our miscellaneous so this is a lot of rice oh I guess I could have put my mix, mix nut, mixed <laughs> nuts in here too but um, we've got mashed potatoes and rice and then some of the pasta sides in here then these two baskets are for chips I've got more of like the adult chips over here and then I've got like party mix stuff over here. Then I ended up going with this basket. This is the one that I just could not figure out how to do our canned goods. But 
since we don't keep a lot on hand at a time, I decided to just put them in this basket right here and then we can easily just kind of go through and look, but this may end up changing. I'm not sure. If you guys have a better solution, let me know in the comments because this was my most problem area, I think, when it came to organizing in here. This is just individual bags of chips, excluding those, but these are all individual bags of chips that the kids get for their lunch boxes and things like that. And then I put our extra boxes of the Capri Sun Roarin' Waters here. So that's how this pantry turned out and I really like it. I honestly just really like these labels so much more than the ones that I had before. And now we're gonna move on to this cabinet. So these two are mainly just spices. These are more of all of our grill mate spices. And these are the bigger um, containers that we just would not have been able to fit in here. So then I ended up putting this little thing up here with all of our other spices. And those are so pretty, nicely labeled. Um, I ended up putting our spaghetti noodles in here just because the only shelf that it would have actually fit on is this one, but then I wanted to put my pots there. So I just figured I could lay it down up here and it works fine. Then I put like our oils and stuff are way back there because we don't pull those out often. And then I put all of our pots like this here. And these are condiments and extra condiments that we put in the back. Then here I have more of our pots and pans. And then down here, this is what I went out to get actually. So this is from the Dollar Tree. It's a little rack and you can actually use it for a drying rack or whatever you wanna use it for. But I use it for my pans and stuff. And I wanted to get another one because I was gonna put the pot lids in it. So as soon as I can find the Dollar Tree organizer, because the ones at Walmart or I think that they were like 10 bucks or $8 and I was like, Shh, I'm just gonna get a Dollar Tree one because I know it's a dollar. So I'll end up putting another one here just to put our pot um, lids on. All right, now we're moving on to this cabinet and I love the way this one turned out, guys. sugar, salt, brown sugar, all those containers that look the same, I kept them up there. We have our cooking spray and olive oil right here. And then all of these containers I kept up here. I tried to kind of keep our rices and pastas and all of that in this one. Um, this big thing of rice was just too big for any of these containers and I really did not want to spend that much money on another one. So. Maybe later I'll get one, but I was trying to save a little money. These containers are all from the Dollar Tree, so I love that these were a dollar. I feel like they still look perfect in here, and they were super cheap and saved me money. And then these were just a few other things that we use on a regular basis. These are all like taco seasonings, ranch packets, all that kind of stuff is in there. So, so that's it. I love it. I feel like it looks so, so much better than it did before. All right guys, so I hope that this gave you guys some motivation to get your own pantries cleaned out. And just remember that if you wanna save a little bit more money, then definitely go online and look at the Dollar Tree or visit your local Dollar Tree because a lot of those jars that I had in there, I could have easily gone online and shopped for the jars and saved a lot of money, but I happened to go to Walmart. A lot of those I already had already too, and it was before I knew that you could actually get those jars. So. Like I said, I wanted mine to look a little bit more cohesive and use the things that I had, but I know that they have a lot of glass jars on the Dollar Tree website and they are all a dollar each and you could easily make it look really, really nice in your pantry. So 
Just an idea if you're wanting to save a little more money. But anyways, I hope you guys loved it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.